Krishna, Krishna. Oh, 
I don't know, y'all. Oh, fellows of Illuminatum. Reaching for the adjutants of the mother to increase your capacity of mind. Growing your character, the character of your personality. so that your choices become moral choices in favor of truth and the advancement of the ages for you. Transfiguring your personal consciousness and its errors of misqualification, which you've imposed upon the life of God, In Illuminatum, you are also developing those personality circles of achievement, the attunement to the adjuster. Driven by the right meanings and values. The right values and understandings. O oh, Universal Father, let your peace spread throughout the lands. We give all worship unto you. All our acknowledgement. All attention and appreciation. These are the cardinal attitudes of approach. I say, everyone, be about thine father's business, and all will turn out well and good. Certainly. The infinite has his way of creating those miracles inside your own field of life. That allow you to choose wisely and open yourself to receive wholeheartedly. This means without resistance. Oh God, we find our rest in your glory. Contemplate this that I tell you, everyone. You find your rest and fulfillment in the glory of God, not by resisting, for what good will that provide for you? O oh, Heavenly Father, 
paradise adjuster, spirit within. We honor you, your glory, with appreciation, everyone. To show, to demonstrate your appreciation, you must have the right meanings and the right values. Are you truly valuing life, existence? O oh, Universal Father, come thou forth. He comes forth, everyone, as you open yourself to receive. Those ten cardinal attitudes allow you to raise yourself to honor God as authority of all the one loving, good authority. Hmm. Evolution is truly the exhaustion of all resistance, all laziness, all willfulness in doing it God's way. Think deeply upon this. The infinite mystery has placed within your mind an indescribable portion of him. He doesn't say, call me this or that. He doesn't even come announcing himself. Yet he lives in you. And he has made himself in you dependent upon your free will as much as you are dependent upon his eternal life. He has given a portion of himself to you and you and you. And he has allowed himself to be at your mercy, to utilize his divine substance his energy to create with your thoughts, your feelings, to create with your endowment, which he has given you. He has subjected himself to undergoing with you all tragedy and trauma.
he has submitted himself through that indwelling adjuster, that life, that portion of himself. Right now, living in you. And he has said, become perfected, even the way I am. Perfect yourself. Work towards that greater perfection is what he means. For certainly, he already knows. For I am one with him as I speak. Already knowing that you are imperfect. And it doesn't bother him. Nor does he judge. Nor does he demand a certain timing. He doesn't even insist upon telling you that he is within you. He leaves it for you to discover this. According to your philosophies, your ideas. And it disturbs him not if you create ideas that are absolutely opposed or confused. Yet his indwelling adjuster is dependent upon you. to respectfully use his life energies. But he doesn't come standing in front of you in a tyrannical way, pressing upon you. He lets you discover it. Think of that. He gives you no guidebook. He presses upon you. No demands per se. Yes, there is the approach unto his altar. And that is a demand, but you don't have to choose that. And as you choose his way, the approach, a greater life emerges. As you choose your own way, you learn, you learn what it is. So he lives in you and he, he arrives there unannounced, much in the same way I find myself here with you, unannounced, incredibly informal. Why is that, everyone? Why do I come unannounced? For certainly, I could come with my high heels and miniskirt, with a big ship, even wearing makeup. It is not the way that I find for myself in following the Father. 
Why? Why are we here in such an informal, simple way? Why don't I come doing all kinds of miracles to, to generate your attraction? Why do I not do that? For I want you to come to our relationship to make contact with me. in a way that comes from inside you. N not stimulated too much from the outside. Those who come to me at this time, it is through the eye of faith and hunger for truth, faith in the living God and hunger to go beyond yourself, to, to blossom yourself that cannot be imposed upon you. For if you stood in front of the bud of a flower and you demanded, O oh flower, grow, grow flower, what would that possibly do? For that gentle flower has to initiate its own process. You cannot influence the flower to grow. You can help the flower. You can direct the water of life. Maybe you can even plant the seeds in the soil, which as the shoots blossom, they will partake of the sun. So you need the water of the infinite spirit and you need the fire of the sun in order to grow into that godhood. I say, I come unannounced. And so does the Father in you and the infinite spirit and the host does not necessarily, ordinarily announce themselves. So you are in a, a point of your existence where you must crave to blossom like the flower to fulfill the pattern of the seed in you. That seed is the living adjuster. that flower, unique with its own will, aided by the elemental kingdom, partaking of the water 
of life. Receiving the radiation of the sun. That budding flower. It lives or dies according to its own will, you might say. God does not test you, nor does he set up circumstances. You have designed through your authorship. Before even coming in here, you have designed your own pathway. He provides all that you would need. And yet you, you must decide and design accordingly. O oh, Heavenly Father, we give you all our attention, all gratitude for providing existence and the energies, the creative energies of that existence and for allowing each one to decide accordingly. You are truly, relatively free to decide. So how do you how do you increase your hunger for growth like the flower budding through the soil? You are each right, coming up from the roots of your own personal nature. You are reaching above the soil of the planetary vibration and consciousness, you are reaching somehow to demonstrate, to show that first, that first showing, that first shoot, as we might say, that beginning of the stem of your life and your personhood. You've been given it is possible for that shooting flower blossoming flower to reject the water and to shy away from the sun. And in this idea, let's say it's possible for the flower to reject the pattern, the idea of its, its ideal, the idea which it is to grow into as the ideal. Let's imagine that flower could say, no, I do it my way. I know what's best, the idea. I'm following my pattern. Now, some things are automatic, like that flower, guided by the kingdoms that service the nature kingdom, 
the elementals. That flower, it comes forth. According to the pattern, the seed. It, it is naturally thirsty for water. Cooperative to receive the emanation of the sun. And it finds its completion, fulfillment, as it penetrates upward through the soil of the earth. Think, think of that emerging unique personal flower that has yet to be buried in the ground. Nothing showing. Yet it's working. It is working upon bringing forth its unique selfhood. Happily receiving the help of the elemental kingdom. In this joyful proclamation, this happy countenance that flower has to fulfill itself. Are you like that flower? ready to receive the water of the infinite spirit and the sunshine, the fire of the sun, of the holy comforter, the paradise suns, my person. Are you willing to make contact with me, with me? Not only the me that is speaking to you, but the vaster me. And the spirit water of the mother. And receiving the help of the host. Just as the flower receives the elemental kingdom. I would say that flower, it, its first order of business is the cardinal attitudes, making that seed, that seed with its pattern, the idea coming from eternity, it maketh that seed its idea happily. It saith, oh, thank goodness that there is an idea in me to follow. Oh, thank goodness that I know that it's in me and it wants the greatest benevolence to be placed upon me. It desires me, the flower, to blossom in all possibilities. Are you such a flower? Sitting beneath the soil of the earth, not yet showing your Christhood life, but working beneath the surface. Journaling, using the endowment of your powers and faculties, exercising your right to penetrate through the density, the soil of the earth, that ye might show yourself, that you might shine forth.
in order to give back to that living seed in you. O oh God, infinite mystery. You say, everyone, I desire to bring you forth, to blend with you, to give us opportunity for the greater. I desire to penetrate through the soil that I can bring forth those initial shoots of my stem reaching heavenward. Are you like that flower? Or are you, are you of an aberration, a tainted example of what what opposes this process. Now, certainly, that little flower in its bud, in its bud beneath the soil, close to the seed of life, pondering its purpose, feeling the hunger to, to come forth, to strive to show itself that flower. Are you feeling that thirst to drink of the water of the Holy Spirit? to allow the host of heaven, just like the elementals, to allow the host to guide you in this process. For you see, the metaphor I, I give to you today, the sun, it bakes upon the soil, just as I and the sons of paradise bake upon the earth, waiting for you to penetrate above the surface. It is the mother and the infinite spirit and the master spirit who work with you beneath the soil, the adjutants of the mother, the template of mind which the master spirit holds. And of course, God, the infinite spirit, over, over guiding all things. So truly, in a normal planet, without my bestowal as that seventh fulfillment, which I had to undergo, normally, the Holy Comforter is not brought in just yet until the magisterial sons the material son and daughter, the life carriers, the planetary prince, these bring forth that shoot, that first visibility of the stem of your life, of your person. Only then can the sun, the rays of the sun, impact you. 
but for a long time it is the water of the spirit beneath the surface, right? Something is happening when you look at a garden where seeds have been planted. I say, the Father has planted his seed in you. Yet, unlike the flower, which is a spontaneous, automatic process, more or less, guided by the elemental kingdom, the human being must choose. Why? Why must you choose? Why can't it be automatic? Why don't I in my person come announcing myself? Why didn't the adjuster come announcing? It would do little good. For I have told you. You can stand above the soil. You can shout out at that bud beneath the surface, buried in the soil. Come, grow thyself. Come upward. And yet, it would do little good for the will of the flower, the will of the bud, thine will, your will takes precedence over everything, even the indwelling life of God. You each have control over your own blossoming, over the influence of the adjuster. Could God impose himself? I would say certainly. Would he? I would say certainly not for that would go against his way of freedom, not tyranny, freedom. The freedom of your choice. Thus, I, Michael, I come. to preserve and uphold and protect your inalienable right, your freedom to choose. And it remains for each one of you To make that choice for better or for worse, you must decide. Adonai, my friends, on this Saturday in the month of April, 2022 in earthly years. I say soon 
you will no longer be here in this condition. Will you fulfill the opportunity being given to you? Or will you whittle away your time, wasting your space, Are you working diligently beneath the soil that you might bring forth those initial shoots of glory? For that flower, as its shoot births itself through the soil of the earth, it saith unto the infinite, Here I am. Here I am. Am. And I desire more of this. I desire wholeheartedly to fulfill the seed you've given of me, in me, through me, for me. Your seed, O oh God. Here I am. As you birth yourself through the soil of capacity, character, and consciousness, you enter, you touch, you become more of the reality of that seed. And you can say, here I am. But until then, it is a, it is a hypocrisy to say, here I am, and you are still beneath the surface is not to do justice to truth and honesty, but to say, here, I am, O oh God, I am fulfilling what you ask of me, what you provide for me to blossom into something greater. Right, everyone? The bud beneath the surface? It is very different than the fully blossoming, colorful, scented flower, joyfully partaking of the water of life, turning its countenance upon the ray of the sun, That is a very different creaturehood than the bud that has yet to open. O oh, mine children, I am come unannounced, but having been with you, from your inception as a part of existence. And I say, come, penetrate, persevere, fulfill thy purpose. I welcome you, Illuminatum Fellows. That you too penetrate through the soil and show yourself. <laughs>